we have some really exciting news that we have been dying to share. But we should probably introduce ourselves first, so here we go. We are Jesse and Connor. We met in San Antonio in 2018 and immediately knew we wanted to be together. We were long distance for a bit while I finished college and we got a cat when I was visiting. Then I moved to Texas with my other cat and my horse. Connor was in the army, so we moved around Texas a bit and had some fun adventures. We got a dog and then about a year later, we got a dog for our dog. We got engaged and we also got a second horse. We got married in 2020, which was such an incredible day despite it being during COVID. He got out of the army after seven years and started a new career, which landed us in Northeast Texas. We love it here so much and are officially putting down roots. We were lucky enough to buy 12 acres as our starter ranch when we moved. Okay, now that we know each other, we can continue on. All right, well, um, we just wanted to kind of informally take a couple minutes. Sorry, I'm itching. Uh, uh, take a couple minutes and just talk about the property, why we kind of did the whole thing. Um, us, I guess. So, didn't plan this at all. It's totally unscripted. So, we're just going to kind of shoot from the hip. So, um, this property for us, I mean, especially for me, this is something I've been dreaming about for a really long time. Uh, when we first met, I told her my goal in life was to buy as much land as I could and get away from people. Um, <laughs> which, I, back then, she wasn't as uh, keen on that idea as she is now. But, um, so we actually live, our current house is like, I don't know, maybe a half a mile up the road from this property. It was really crazy that we kind of made this deal happen. We were just kind of talking with our neighbor. They have about 350 acres, or had about 350 acres, and they were looking to sell a little bit of it. Um, we didn't really think that it was any, God, I'm sorry, this bug bite. Uh, we didn't think it was anything that we could really achieve realistically to buy 100 acres, but here we are. So um, it's actually 92, just over 92 acres, about 45 or 50, eh, I think like 40 acres, 48, five acres of pasture, and then uh, roughly 50 acres of uh, wooded area. So go ahead, talk. <laughs> um, we're really excited because he was in the army um, and we moved around obviously because of that. And I was really sick of moving. So when we moved and we bought our current property that has 12 acres, um, I was really excited to stay there for a while and to not have to worry about moving. And then we ended up finding this property, but luckily it's literally right down the road. Um, we get to stay in the same town. Um, it has a good school district. We're really excited. I'm really excited to be putting down roots and to not have to move anymore. Um, we already know our neighbors. We already know the area. Um, have a good church that we don't have to like, you know, change from anything like that. So. Yeah, so we get to keep the familiarity that we've built over the last year of being in this town. Um, and we just get to stay here forever, which I'm really excited about. Um, as far as the property goes, I can't wait to put a house on it and to build it up. I just really want to get our horses over here. Um, Bandit is going to go absolutely insane with the just flat pasture that he's just going to sprint through. I already know it. Um, <laughs> it's going to be really fun. And it's like he said, it's got wooded areas. That's going to be his playground. And then the pastures are going to be for the horses and me. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and then we also have a river that is the whole bottom um, border of our property. So I know Connor's really excited about that. Him and his dad have been fishing on it already and just having a ton of fun so yeah and i guess uh in terms of the river is go or it goes um the the name of the ranch you know dogwood river ranch was kind of just something that we created um we're not originally from this part of texas well we're not from texas at all but uh i've just always really liked dogwood trees i think they're really pretty um so what we want to do is kind of like maybe you know line the the driveway with some dogwood trees and just kind of have them around i just think that they're really nice looking trees so we were just kind of thinking about a name and you know the, the name river ranch sounded cool and we're like man we need something else to to go with it and she kind of thought about it and she was like you know what what about the dog river ranch so that's how the name got started um we plus just, i love dogs so <laughs> there's that yeah and i love the woods so um, we love the dogwood trees and uh, there's also a hidden meaning i guess um in terms of just like me wanting to buy land, like this is something, you know, cause I grew up in the city for the most part, but 
originally what I thought was I just wanted to go more of like a homestead kind of type thing, you know, be off the grid, um, have my own animals so that we don't have to buy meat at the store, grow our own uh, vegetables, stuff like that. But now I think it's looking more and more likely that we actually might work the land uh, from like with livestock, you know, actually try to maybe do a little bit of ranching. I mean, it's hard to say for sure. We're still pretty young and we both have full-time careers. So everything we do here is, it's still gonna be just on our free time from work. Um, but it's super exciting stuff. I know that people love watching this kind of stuff because I personally do. Like I don't use any social media except for YouTube and uh, pretty much all I do is I watch videos about people doing stuff like this. So um, it's gonna be really exciting and a very, very, very long project. Yes. And it's gonna be a lifelong project. So um, in terms of YouTubing, neither of us have done that before. So it's gonna be a new experience. It's pretty tough because, I mean, we've actually already owned it for what, like a month? Not quite. A couple weeks or something. Uh, and I've been out here, my dad's been out here, and we'll just start doing projects, and I always forget to film stuff. So it's definitely gonna get some, uh, or it's gonna take some getting used to, of like actually putting myself on camera and filming stuff. Like the whole driveway uh, was not there when we bought the property, so we pretty much did that whole project without filming it, which sucks, but uh, we'll try to get better at it. We'll get better at the whole YouTube thing and more comfortable on camera. This is very strange. But, um, yeah, I don't know. What else What else do we got? Um, I mean, I think the goal long-term, you can't see it, but there's a spot just right over here um, is likely where we're going to put our house. So we'll keep this here, put our house there. My dad's probably going to move his fifth wheel uh, kind of in this area off to the side of the barn. And who knows? I mean, we have enough spot, enough space that if another family member wants to put like a little mobile home or something, you know, we'll have the space to let them do it. So hopefully yeah. we can turn it into like a place for all of our family members to come and, and enjoy, you know, a lot of them still live in the city or they live in different states and don't have anything like this. So it's just a chance for us to provide a cool experience for our family and our future kids and uh, all that kind of stuff. And so. our dogs. And our dogs. I always promised my dog that we were going to buy her land. And we bought her land, but now she has even more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 12, 12 acres was a big change because we went from one acre when we were living in the city to 12 to 92. Yes, and you will be so, seeing a lot of our dogs. Yes. They're with us all the time. They're at home right now because it's pretty hot out. But yeah. they're going to be in everything yeah. all the time. So... I don't know what our first project is going to be in terms of making videos and stuff. I mean, there's just so much to do and we're not planning the house anytime soon. So a lot of it's probably going to be kind of sporadic, just random projects, just tinkering away, clearing trees, yeah. a lot of mowing. Um, all these pastures have to get sprayed because they were getting worked a couple years ago for hay and they pretty much stopped working them. So they're pretty overgrown with weeds. So we got to get pesticides and stuff out there, or excuse me, herbicides. Um, that way we can get it back to to good grass so that we can bring animals so that they can start grazing and we can cut hay and all sorts of stuff. My nose is itchy. Ugh. I'm gonna have Anyways. to edit this heavily. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know. I don't know what else we got. Other than this video, we're going to start with just like a random tour of the ranch, just showing oh, yeah, like some of true. the different features, some of the different things we have in mind, like the pond we're going to dig, the tree line we need to clear, um, the pine, the planted pines, the pastures, just stuff like that. Um, just so it can be like an overall video because this property, I mean, it's obviously a little over 92 acres. There's a lot going on on it, but there's so many just cool things about this property, like little features, little things that um, we're going to add to and just kind of develop um, over time. And we're really excited about it because there's just so many potential things that we can do with this property. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll definitely have a tour uploaded. We're um, filming that today. 
So yeah. we'll, we'll be in the, we'll be in the same clothes. Yeah. So we'll have a tour uploaded as soon as possible. Um, that way it'll kind of make sense when we reference like, Oh, the West road or, Oh, the front pasture, the back pasture, the new pond, the duck pond, like it'll make sense a little bit more. Um, cause there's definitely, there's so much on this property. Um, we're kind of having to come up with like unique names for each section so that <laughs> when we're like texting his dad and he's like, Oh, I'm working on the West road. We're like, what are you talking about? Um, so that way we can kind of, especially, you know, like if I come home from work and I'm like, where are you? And he just gives me some random spot. I'm going to have no idea what he's talking I'll about. I'll give you GPS coordinates. <laughs> Don't give me GPS coordinates. Yeah. But yeah, so we're really excited and this is our dream come true. Um, yeah. And maybe we'll throw in some random truck videos with Connor's new, his mm -hmm. new toy. It's his, it's his new baby. Yeah, there will be truck videos, fishing videos, <laughs> hunting videos. Horse videos. Uh, horse videos. A lot of different stuff. House. So. When we eventually have our house, I'm sure I'll do some house decorating. So all you men, if you want to get your women on board, um, I'm big on house decorating. <laughs> so I'm going to make it real homey and hopefully make my inspirations proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And one other thing that I definitely want to make sure that I do, uh, just because I feel like a lot of video or a lot of people who make these videos aren't like super transparent with the price and stuff, but it's, it's really important. So I'm going to do my best, even though it's hard to take the time to like keep everything logged and whatever. But, you know, in terms of building the well and uh, septic systems and electricity and the really big stuff like arenas. You, yeah. Like if you wanted to do this yourself, I'm going to try to be better and actually tell you guys like how much this stuff costs because it's a lot of money, you know, and it's uh, one of those things where a lot of people don't want to talk about finances in a public setting, which I get. But I mean, it's, it's helpful and hopefully I can help everyone else because I feel like there's not a lot of videos about it. So yeah. we'll try to be good about talking about prices of, of the important stuff. Um, and as we learn, we will try to teach. And, and when we mess up, we'll be sure to tell you. Yes. <laughs> We're definitely going to film a lot of the flaws because this property has a lot of flaws, you know, the bark and it, it's got very little fencing and it's got a lot of weeds in the pastures and I mean there's a lot of stuff that needs to be improved so yeah um, but and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of bloopers because I'm super weird <laughs> just like that I'm out of here